my thoughts sometimes about you in the past Ooh. and <laughs> okay so i didn't know you were gonna go there but yeah i i said when i mean protect our marriage from me i'm talking about the way sometimes i can think negative sometimes okay. i can um rehearse mm -hmm. pain or you know because we've been through a lot we've been together almost 30 years mm -hmm. and so i have to be intentional about casting down negative thoughts about you and our marriage and that's mm -hmm. one way there's many ways but right. that's one of the first ways that i know i'm very intentional mm -hmm. when it comes to protecting our marriage every time we have this conversation hard to break in face to face but we don't know how to face it yeah we're done but we're too afraid to say it time is racing every time we have this conversation hard to break in face to face but we don't know how to face it almost perfect but not adjacent time is racing babe and i don't want you to waste it ah. Ah. what's up my orchid my hey babe what's oh, happening i'm excited about this topic today you, and you know we always say we're excited number one because yeah. you know we get to do this it's a blessing every time it's um, exciting not to just give out marriage information but it's an opportunity for you and i yeah to have some us time that's right true. and just talk you know i love our conversations we and that's why this is called for real conversations because mm -hmm. You know, this is easy for us. This is what we do. This is how we started. This is mm -hmm. what we wake up in the morning with deep conversations, yeah. you know, at, mm -hmm. you know. And so today we want to really touch on a, this topic called safeguarding your marriage. Yeah. And the reason why we thought of this topic is because this mm -hmm. was actually love. One of the first revelations we got after way before we started Marry for real yep. is the importance of safeguarding your marriage yes. right yep. and we want to discuss some lessons or some wisdom because that, that we've learned since then yeah yeah i was gonna say that because that we we started that like seven eight years ago mm -hmm. and even ever since then we learned a whole lot mm -hmm. of why why is it important to safeguard your marriage so i'm gonna ask you this first all right you know, for we we saying safeguard your marriage, but some people may not know what what does that mean to safeguard your marriage for you. Mm. What is you? What do you feel like that means to safeguard your marriage? You know, what what is what are we talking about here? Don't be deceived and think that once we say I do, mm -hmm. that everything is going to be easy in marriage. Mm, you know, yeah. you have to. Just like when you have children, yeah, you know, you have to put up borders and parameters to protect, protect them from themselves. Mm -hmm. You know, you have to you love them out of your love for your children. You intentionally um, put little protective things inside the sockets or yep. remember we had gates all around the house yep. so they don't yep. go upstairs and hurt themselves. And so our marriage is no different, you yeah. know, because we love our marriage we need to be intentional about safeguarding our Ooh. marriage so what i mean yep. by safeguarding is putting up boundaries and yep. parameters and um protection protect it fight That's for it. your That's it. you know fight to protect the sacredness of the relationship yep. um and the first thing that comes to mind for me mm -hmm. is i have to protect our marriage from me mm. And I know. And, well, oh, before ahead, before, you, before you even mm -hmm, get there, mm -hmm. you know, a lot of things that was like in my mind, I was imagining some things because that's good what you said. You know, it is protection. Yes. Yes. And the thing that comes to my mind is if you value something, whenever you value mm -hmm. something, you want to protect it. Just mm -hmm. as you said, the children, we value our children. We care about our children. So when they were children, our babies, we wanted to protect them so that danger wouldn't enter in. Yeah. And I, I think about the computers now. We living in an age of everything is computers. Mm -hmm. And it's like, if you value that investment. Okay, because it is an investment. You're going to put something that's going to protect it. Like, you got all these cyber people trying to invade your space. Mm -hmm. And so that, you know, you put these different, um, you Anti -virus know. Antivirus. Antiviruses, yeah. protection to clean your, you know, so that because you value what you put on that computer. You Absolutely. value that, that investment. And so that's my picture of like safeguarding your marriage mm. is like because we value our marriage, we want to make sure that we put parameters, like you said, around our marriage, whether it be, 
you know, um, uh, practical yeah, or internal, like mm. like parameters, even around our hearts. You know, and you know what was so funny about what you just did just now? That showed male and female differences. Okay, because like what I went to the children. Mm-hmm. When I was thinking of an example, mm-hmm. I went to the example of our children and you went to an example of technology mm-hmm. computers. <laughs> I could have did sports, but I ain't into sports like that. Yeah, so. that just mm-hmm. shows you how different we are. That's mm-hmm. You're a cinematographer by trade. That's your feel. And so it's interesting that we talk in... Uh, the language of our nature, right. you know, most mm-hmm. women are, you know, when we get in social gatherings, we're going to take out a picture and yep. start showing everybody our children. Yep. Um, and then you guys talk about more about what you do for a living. And that's mm-hmm. cool. Mm-hmm. Um, but I get it, babe. Yeah. You, you protect your equipment. I, I watch the way mm-hmm. you, you got cases and uh mm. yeah you mm. you handle it with care right and so our marriage is no different you know That's we it. have to put up certain um certain protection mm-hmm. uh i don't know what the word i'm looking for but mm-hmm. we have to be intentional mm-hmm. about making sure that nothing can enter in that can harm our relationship yeah. and when i said protecting our marriage from me mm-hmm. i want to explain that a little more something that yeah. i've learned over the years is mm-hmm. that my thoughts sometimes about you in the past Ooh. and <laughs> okay so i didn't know you were gonna go there but yeah, I, I said when I mean protect our marriage from me, I'm talking about the way sometimes I can think negative. Sometimes okay. I can um, rehearse mm-hmm. pain or, you know, because we've been through a lot. We've been together almost 30 years. Mm-hmm. And so I have to be intentional about casting down negative thoughts about you and our marriage and that's mm-hmm. one way there's many ways but right. that's one of the first ways that i know i'm very intentional mm-hmm. when it comes to protecting our marriage i mm-hmm. make sure not to allow negative thoughts especially if it has nothing to do with today let's talk you about know? that let's break that down you know yeah. um i guess we can categorize that as you know protecting your marriage against intrusive thoughts mm-hmm. because that that's that's exactly what happens sometimes especially mm-hmm. like you said we've been married you know we've been together for a long time right and we've been through a lot of things right so this is what we find that's okay. happening with a lot of people mm-hmm. and and particularly in their marriage is like the person might have and the marriage might be on a different level mm-hmm but they still may be living based upon their past and their past experience with yep. that person and their yep. marriage. Yep. You know, do you find that, that, you know, I, cause I know we're in a different place. Mm-hmm. Do you, how do you fight that? How do you battle with those thoughts? Those, excuse me, those intrusive thoughts that come, mm-hmm. come up. Well, the way you get rid of the old is replacing it with something new. <laughs> so I, I replace the old, painful, traumatic thoughts with positive thoughts about mm-hmm. you, about our marriage. Um, for those who's been following us for a while, y'all know we have a testimony of overcoming adultery. That mm-hmm. was one of the most traumatic mm-hmm. experiences of my entire life. And so from time to time, like there's certain things that might try to remind me about it or trigger me mm-hmm. or uh, I may see something or hear something that may yep. bring up a memory But I'm very intentional about taking those thoughts captive because the only way I can access my past is through my memory. Mm. So I'm not going to allow a memory from yesterday or 10 years ago to impact how I see you today because we fought so hard Mm -hmm. to get here. And so I have to protect Mm -hmm. what we've built. That's good. You know, and so when I when the enemy or when even I don't know if it's the always the enemy, but it could just be me, my memory. Memories. Our memory is a powerful muscle. Mm-hmm. You know, it don't forget nothing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. So, you know, when those thoughts come, I safeguard our marriage by throwing it away. That's I good. choose That's good. to say not today. You're not and, having those thoughts. And and I know we're talking about past hurts and stuff like yeah. that, but you know, even in a regular marriage that has not been through anything, Absolutely. you know, you have to safeguard your marriage uh, against intrusive thoughts Every because, day. you know, this is what happens. Like, And I'm going to go back in, in our marriage because mm-hmm. we got married young. Absolutely. Yeah. Great marriage. Everything, you know, I, you know, we've been through whatever. Mm-hmm. But some of the things that I, I allow into my thoughts 
I would have already cast those things down a long time ago if mm. I if I had the knowledge that I have now. Mm. You know, um, those intrusive thoughts. Man, you got married too young. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, you angry. She don't appreciate you. Mm-hmm. You know, and all these different thoughts that come up mm-hmm. that we allow if we don't safeguard our marriage, mm-hmm. we'll 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 run with those thoughts. Absolutely, and we'll live those things out because. You know, those thoughts prophesy to us. Oh, yeah. You oh, know, yeah. they do. Absolutely. And if you don't cast it down, then those, those, everything that those thoughts are saying will in, end up in your life, uh, in your marriage. You know what I'm saying? It comes shallow with this cameo. Oh, but um, but that's, you know, that's something that, you know, I begin to, to realize, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. you know, and, and it's just. Those thoughts are so important to protect yourself against because the enemy knows how oh, yeah. the world works. Mm-hmm. He know how, you know, the kingdom works. Mm-hmm. And so if we can get us to think something, mm-hmm. speak it and then act on these things, then we'll begin to see negativity in, in our lives. You Absolutely. Know? If we the moment if I, this is something that I've learned, love, is that, Christina, if you can change your thoughts, you mm-hmm. can change your life. Mm-hmm. If you can change your thoughts, you can change your marriage. Yep. And I've been working on this very intentional. And that's something that I wish I had knew years ago when we first got married is mm-hmm. Christina. You don't have to entertain negative thoughts when they come, especially if you can't do anything about them. You know, it's old. It's, it's, it's in the past. Mm-hmm. And so I, I realized that one way that I can safeguard our marriage is thinking more positively. So mm-hmm. that's one area. Mm-hmm. But let's talk about. At the beginning, yeah. something that we've learned, if we can go back to the very beginning, mm-hmm. what is something that we could have done to even protect our marriage from some of the trauma mm-hmm. that we endured or the toxicity that Ooh. came into our relationship? What could there have been yeah, that's good. for those who are listening yep. to, you know, you don't have to go through the path that we took, right. you know, we, you know, so what is the, some advice that we can give or Latroy that you can give to yeah. a man, a husband right now that is at the beginning stages, first year, second year of marriage. Mm-hmm. And you're like, yo, if I, if I can go back mm-hmm. to the first year or second year of marriage, mm-hmm. I wish I had knew this or I wish I had done this. And if I had, mm-hmm. it would have protected mm-hmm. me and mm-hmm. my relationship from so much pain. Mm-hmm. What would that have been for you? For me, I think, you know, one of the things that I could have done is, that I suggest anybody do even before they get married is define me. Who am I? Mm. Um, um, because we fall into these lies sometime that, you know, I need somebody else to make me whole. Mm. I need somebody else to make me whole. You know, you may need God. God didn't say that I'm going to give you Eve to make you whole. Mm. He said, I'm going to give you her to give you help. Okay. You know, okay. but you're a whole person. But this task that I have for you to do mm-hmm. is going to require Eve to help you. That's good. Okay. You see what I'm saying? So Got he it. never said that. So mm-hmm. and one of the things that I wish I had done mm-hmm. is to have already have core values, mm. my core values, what you stand, for. what I stand mm. for, what I you know, I, I had a general idea of who I am. You know, I love the Lord and, and so, certain things that was already engrafted into me that I'm not going to. Do or you know, mm. but until I I didn't have those core things mm-hmm. that build the fundamental like fundamental building blocks of the person's mm-hmm. soul life, the structure of who I am like that committed dedicated husband that you know part. that that will f- faithful husband mm. you know I never got married to cheat but then. That wasn't a part of my core value because mm-hmm. if it was a core value, then that wouldn't have never been an option. Mm. You know, um, being angry, you know, and you know, coming out of self, I, I'm I'm supposed to be a a, a mild mannered, have self control, uh-huh. and so you know, there's a lot of things. Not saying that we're gonna be perfect, but then if I had already structured a core value in my life, then you know, I don't believe that a lot of the things that I went through would mm. have, have have happened. You know mm. what I'm saying? So you're saying you wish you had focused a little more on character building. Character building. Character building, core mm-hmm. values, mm-hmm. um, self development. Yes. Self discovery, yep. self love, mm-hmm. that you really took the time to build the man. See, and see yeah. you know, and the one reason why I say that now I'm I'm able to look back with yep. a with a sober mind now. Yep. 
we come from a harsh environment. That's we true. come from, yeah. you know, abuse. Absolutely. And toxicity, toxicity, dysfunction. All that. Yep. And, you know, nothing registered in our heart before we got married that, you know, we need some therapy, some, okay. some soul searching. Mm-hmm. We got to get some, some cleansing. We got the, yeah. you know, and so we didn't think about that when we got married. And mm-hmm. so we didn't discover until after we crossed that, that, that threshold of marriage yep. that, man, something is wrong. Things started to show up you and know? be exposed, like, yeah. real quick. <laughs> like real quick and yep. you know so if anybody is listening especially a man if you know that you came out of an environment that yep. you know That's you didn't good, have man. the education mm-hmm. you might have been come from a harsh environment we yep. came from the streets yeah we saw that lived that all our life yep. and so if you came come from that background we would definitely suggest that you go get that help get mm-hmm. that help that you need like it ain't just enough to say I love the Lord. I'm saved. I'm a different person. No, you got to you got to make sure that those things are scrubbed out, you know, internally. Mm. And it's also not enough to say I love this woman. You that, see what I'm saying? I love it. this woman and I want to marry her and be there with her go. for the rest of my life. And, you know, because you could be bringing in so much pain, mm-hmm. you know, without doing that work ahead of time. And, you know, you're not going to be perfect even after working on self right. because only marriage will expose some things also That's now. It. You know, it's not until we get up close to each other that then you see our self selfishness, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> selfishness is real. exposed. So some things you're not gonna necessarily be able to safeguard. Yeah. But I do believe to your point that um a way we can self-guard, even for the woman, is working on who are you? Yeah. Apart from this man, yeah. you know, because sometimes as a woman, we can idolize our men, yep. you know, and now he is my everything. And we, and you, you know, to the point that we love you more than we love ourselves. You know, we endure so toxicity be, because we don't love ourselves, yep. you know, and so that's something, too. And I married you at 17. You yep. know, just keep it a buck. I'm now 40. And if I could go back. 40, girl. Thank you, love. Ooh, you don't age tall. Mm. But if I can go back to my 17 year old self, Mm -hmm. I would tell her, girl, you got to know who you are, Mm -hmm. because if not this man that you love, that you will literally kiss the ground he walks on. You know, it, it he could walk over you if you don't know that you're not supposed to be walked on. He's a human being, you know. <laughs> He's still a human being at the end of the day, and so I wish I had developed self worth, self value, and, and so and, yeah. and you know, and not to you know stick on that subject because this is so important. This is why it's important yeah. to safeguard your marriage. Mm-hmm. You know, we just see that one of our even one of our mentors. You know, which is unfortunate. Don't mm-hmm. know the full story, mm-hmm. but had to step down because he's a human being. Yeah, and yeah. he he said that it's a sin that he stepped down, mm-hmm. and we followed him for years, mm-hmm. world world renowned. Everybody knew who I'm talking about, mm-hmm. but you know that just shows he's a human being too. We all he can are. fall short. Absolutely. You know, you see people in the Bible, they fall short. Mm-hmm. Leaders and stuff, they fall short, mm-hmm. and we, but we are never. Pointed, supposed to be pointed to that person. It's yep. supposed to be pointed to God. And Come that's why, here. you know, that's it's so important for us to do that self and connect with God and do that self work. And, and that and, was the first thing I realized, love, yep. at a very young age, when your humanity showed up in our marriage, mm-hmm. year two, mm-hmm. you know what happened in year two. Mm-hmm. Year two hit us with yep. infidelity. Let me tell you something. Yep. I found out real quick. Yep. God told me personally, I had an encounter with God. That's and he true. said, look, I'm a jealous God. Put no other man before me. And that's I true. realized I had put you even in the place of God. Mm-hmm. And that's idolatry. And so you're right. Mm-hmm. So one way you can safeguard your marriage, number one, is recognize that the person you're marrying is a human being who that's is good. capable of falling short. And you you are going to have to be mature enough to extend forgiveness, to extend grace, to extend mercy, to extend compassion. Um, <laughs> and that's why yeah. that's and you got to have a strong relationship with God to give that. That's why you have to safeguard your marriage because you're not marrying a robot. That part. You are marrying a human being. Yes. And they they have the potential to offend you. Oh, yeah. And oh, yeah. they have the potential to do wrong. Yes. And also you do, you know. I do, too. And yeah. so these, these borders, these mm-hmm. boundaries that you place around your marriage, 
helps helps you helps that marriage to stay stronger. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's called reinforcement. That's pretty Ooh, much that's, that's what good, we're talking babe. about. Yeah. You know, even when, you know, these people build we build houses. Absolutely. You know, um houses can be built by brick. By brick, a brick mm-hmm. house. But they reinforce the house, you know, if you put you want to protect your property, sometimes people put gates around their yard mm-hmm. to to even more so reinforce the protection Absolutely. of that property. Yeah, Be- retainer walls, they you know? do concrete, they do steel, yeah, exactly. they, you know, to reinforce the exactly. structure of the house. Exactly. Yeah. And that's what safeguarding your marriage does because there's still a chance All right. that somebody can get into that house. Absolutely. So let me, you know, put in security systems. Mm-hmm. That's that reinforcement. And so when it comes to your marriage, you know, that's what... Um, safeguarding your marriage does because because we're married to a human being mm. and says that we're putting up these boundaries because there's still a potential mm. or there's still a chance okay. that an intruder could possibly get in. You so know? let's stick with that in reinforcement. I like how you talked about that. So mm-hmm. what are some reinforcements there you go. that we could put, put in place um, even now and even back then, but yeah. also talking to couples who are listening now, mm-hmm. what are some reinforcements that they can is- put inside? I'll start off with just one that oh, yeah. I was thinking about when I was listening to you. The first thing that comes to my mind is transparency. Yep. The importance of yep. being transparent. Yep. It reinforces security that, look, I will never hide anything mm-hmm. from you. Mm-hmm. I am completely naked. You are safe with me. Mm -hmm. So if we come into the relationship, understanding that you will protect your marriage Mm -hmm. from just being transparent, Mm -hmm. you know, you don't want to be married to somebody and you don't feel safe with them. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And so for me, I appreciate the love of transparency that you and I have. Mm -hmm. We pretty much always have outside Mm -hmm. of dark seasons we've only had Mm -hmm. seasons Mm -hmm. um and i want to talk about where there wasn't any transparency Mm -hmm. but for the most part we've pretty much had that and i Mm -hmm. love that we absolutely have it now but Mm -hmm. for me as a woman safeguarding for especially for a man when Mm -hmm. you live open Mm -hmm. a lot of times men come and guard it you know thinking Mm -hmm. the woman is being too nosy why you got to see my text message why you got to see my email why you got to know all my business Mm -hmm. listen you better be naked and unashamed Mm -hmm. you know and also that protects you Mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying and the woman as well if we just live out loud Mm -hmm. without secrets without Mm -hmm. privacy i just feel like it it just creates it reinforces the safety and the security in the relationship Mm -hmm. and that's what i want to talk i want to dig deeper into that because Mm -hmm. that's good um transparency what does that look like practically yes um i know one thing today you Mm -hmm. know um uh, oftentimes you know um i may open up about something that i may think about Mm -hmm. you know may concern me Mm -hmm. uh may whatever and i open up and you do the same for me too and um We've pretty much, we talk a lot. We've always mm-hmm. been talking a whole lot. I love that. About our life, and I love that about yep. us. Mm-hmm. Me too. But um, I don't think I have been so transparent. Mm-hmm. You know, we yep. even though we talk, but yep. I don't think I have been so mm-hmm. transparent. And transparency to us um, are the deeper level of transparency that we are into now yeah. is that I share my thoughts. You do. I love that. I share my thoughts. Mm -hmm. And um, I learned that I had to do that. Mm. But I didn't do that early on. Mm -hmm. You know. um, That's definitely new for us. mm -hmm. Um, We've often, we've shared tangible things like Mm -hmm. cell phone, passwords, Mm -hmm. and stuff like that. But I love Mm -hmm. um, the direction you're taking when you're talking about thoughts. Mm -hmm. Because I am noticing now, I can say, hey, babe, what you thinking about? Mm -hmm. And you're more open, whereas Mm -hmm. in the past you probably wasn't. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And those those thoughts, because we talk about family, Mm -hmm. concerns about brothers, sisters, mom, and whatnot, all are married. But the thoughts are like, you know, those, those real deep personal thoughts Absolutely. that that only we would know Absolutely. you know um and so like when you know this morning i woke up and, and you know about a dream and, and sure a dream did. that concerned me yeah. and that but i wasn't like that before no you know? no you, you know? were very guarded yeah yeah very uh-huh. guarded um mm-hmm. transparency about mm-hmm. challenges absolutely. like when i had challenges with pornography absolutely you know um i would say 
human challenges, mm-hmm. um, spiritual challenges, on, your babe. walk. So, you know, so transparency so to say, hey, man, I got a problem with lying, mm-hmm. you know? Okay. I got a problem with, you know, <laughs> not you know, keeping my word, not keeping my I got word. Pride, pride, you know? Yep. Transparency with your spouse. Um, with letting them know who you really are. That's true intimacy. That part, babe. intimacy. Come on here. You know. Yes. That's the part that I think that you know we didn't have. We had that now. Now we're free to say, you know what? I I I do get jealous sometimes. Mm. I do get you know not yes. just hypothetical. That's just an example. And, and we're married for real now. We're married See? for real and that's, now. That's what it is. And I love that direction because you're absolutely right. That's something that's very noticeable about mm-hmm. our relationship now, and especially about you. And mm-hmm. I told I tell you that from time to time. Mm-hmm. I'm like, you know, babe, thank you for sharing that with me. Mm-hmm. You didn't have to share that with me. Right. I feel closer to you, you know. And mm-hmm. I, you know, when I when you share your thoughts, it's it's a it's a demonstration of intimacy because what you're telling me is you want me to know you. That's it. If I, if I don't share my thoughts with you, we don't share our thoughts with people. We don't Mm -hmm. want to, we don't want them to know us. That's it. You know, I don't want you to know who I really am. Right. That's it. So I don't want to talk to you all the time because I don't want to expose the real me. Ooh, see that. And that's what transparent. That's why it's, it does safeguard your marriage because what it does, it says, I know you. That part. I feel safe and secure. So, it really blocks out those intrusive thoughts Come that on. we thought about what we were talking about at the beginning, mm-hmm. because if you are not that transparent, then you leave your spouse thinking, assuming, assuming who you are. Like who are you, <laughs> What is what is she thinking about? Right. Like, I know you're thinking about something. You yep. know, I'm asking you what you're mm-hmm. thinking about. I know you're thinking mm-hmm. about something. But you're telling me nothing. Yep. I'm all right. And it makes I'm them good. feel insecure because you know? they don't know who you are. That's it. So a way you can safeguard your marriage is just be transparent. Parent, share your thoughts, mm-hmm. share how you feel, mm-hmm. share even the tangible things like, OK, but, you know, I just got a call from somebody, right. you know, sweetheart. I just got a text from somebody. Mm-hmm. I just got an email. Mm-hmm. You know, I, guess who I ran into the other day at the grocery store? Yep. You know, things like that makes your spouse feel safe. Safe yep. because that's not something you absolutely had to share. That's, that's it. volunteer. When you volunteer information like that, it, it creates safety and stability in the relationship. Mm. So I think we can stop there for now. But there's, there's so, so much. much more. But I we do, just wanted to cover a couple. I, I do want to say just real quick, okay. you know, just some things, you okay. know, as we close. Okay. Because you know, just real quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, safeguarding your marriage also practically, you know, like you were saying. At the beginning, mm-hmm. sharing cell phones, mm-hmm. your cell phone um, uh, um, activity, mm-hmm. transparency with that, you know, um, um, keeping other people out of your relationship. Okay. You know, other voices. That safeguards it. Safeguarding yep. your marriage, keeping mm-hmm. other people outside of your relationship. Other people's opinions. Right. You know, sharing your problems with people that got a, got a whole lot of problems. Yep. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? That's unproductive. Yep. Yeah. And then, you know, one of the things that I would want to leave with this, that we found that is very effective, uh, effective way to safeguard in your marriage is getting the right counsel. Ooh. Mentorship. Ooh. That's like Dang. safeguarding your Ooh, marriage, so having you somebody that you can talk to about your marriage. So good, love. That That's was powerful. That was a game changer for that was us, a game love. Changer. When we can truly just be open and honest and, and you know, also... Just get a different angle, a different direction, like a different perspective. Like, man, I didn't think of it like that. Mm-hmm. I thought I was right. Mm-hmm. Right. But then when that third party comes in and say, well, have mm-hmm. you ever thought about this? Or maybe mm-hmm. you should try it like this. And, you know, sometimes we there was a season love where we didn't feel heard. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? We didn't feel understood. Mm-hmm. And we trusted a couple to open up to and, mm-hmm. and to be vulnerable with. Mm-hmm. And. And they started to give more clarity and insight on what we were dealing with. And so Mm -hmm. I'm grateful you added that Mm -hmm. mentorship Mm -hmm. is important. You want to get a a, a trusted couple Mm -hmm. that has a marriage, not a perfect marriage, Mm -hmm. but at least got some scars. You know Mm -hmm. what I'm saying? I prefer scars than perfection any Mm -hmm. day. (laughs) Mm -hmm. Number one, Mm -hmm. because I the fact that y'all are still together, even after the pain Mm -hmm. is a testament that. I can get through what I'm dealing with also. Mm -hmm. So it gives me hope Mm -hmm. when you reach out to people that have been through something Mm -hmm. and they share their story with you and they encourage you and they give you real practical advice and Mm -hmm. spiritual. Mm -hmm. Okay. Cause at the end of the day, you don't just want to 
vent to somebody right. you want real help right you know and so i believe the practical and the spiritual has to be there because marriage is a product of god mm. so i don't just need you to give me practicality i also need to know what is the will of god what for this the, situation what is the will of god for the situation yep. so that like look y'all we we hope that that's bless y'all yeah we love that y'all are rocking with us <laughs> remember look if y'all y'all can follow us begin to you know push that subscribe button if yes. you ain't already subscribed because you know we want y'all to welcome uh or be welcomed into our conversation absolutely matter of fact leave a comment man if y'all like what we talking about yes. and also if you need marriage help mm -hmm. go to our website at marriageforreal.com it's right there on the screen yes. baby i really enjoy this I I did too and don't forget our book that's out called yep. the marriage mouth your mouth is a weapon do not use it against your spouse it is yep. available either on our website at marriageforreal.com or through amazon just go to everybody's store you already know through. you can get everything there and just type in the marriage mouth by latroy and christina brown it's gonna be a blessing to you come on now y'all already know me and my orchid we about to hang out right now <laughs> It's our time. So we y'all got to go. Yeah. You know? So we love y'all. And remember, if you take yeah. these messages and you apply it to your life, you two can say through it all. We still win. Certified marriage mentors Latroy and Christina Brown have a new book, The Marriage Mouth. They are the founders of Married For Real and have been reaching hundreds of thousands of people around the world with their transparent and relevant approach to common marriage issues. So many people have been asking for the book and now you can have it for yourself. This dynamic book is full of powerful topics, prayers, and confessions. It's a book you'll never be done with. It was designed to use as a spiritual guide and tool to address most marital situations. The Marriage Mouth. Your mouth is a weapon. Don't use it against your spouse. Order your copy today at amazon.com or go to our website at marriedforreal.com.